my, my question is really simple. Why is Attica still open and what can we do to close it? Um, the, the, the endemic um, culture of racism and violence that has still existed is astounding. Um, could you speak to why is it that that culture has still remained to this day there? It's not, it's not just, I mean, right on. <laughs> and it's not just the same, it's actually worse. Uh, I mean, I have a disagreement with some people about this, about whether Attica is worse today than it was in 71. And my position is that it is worse. And one of the reasons it's worse is because the whole system has gotten most, more brutal, number one. But number two, Attica is a trauma site. And everybody that works there and everybody that's in there Attica, they live, the, 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 this like a, the rebellion is like this thing that just still exists. And the guards are very sensitive to it, right? And, and the guys pay a high price for being in this institution. So there's a lot of energy around New York City right now in the state of New York trying to shut it down. Um, the reason it's not shut down, though, has everything to do with why we can't manage to shut down enough prisons still anywhere. Uh, is enormous resistance to this for jobs reasons, but also just because of this absolute myth that somehow this makes people safer, or somehow this make this is just. Upstate, Attica, um, Clinton, Elmira, Great Meadows are the biggest employers in their area. As the um, manufacturing sector has deteriorated, these prisons become more and more important. Um, they pay the best wage in the area. A union uh, corrections officer can make something like uh, $125,000 with overtime. You know, living in Dannemora or Elmira, that's a fortune. And so there's a big lobby, and a lot of it's driven by the union to keep these places open. So we.